Hi y'all, I'm doing a stitch out on the daisy and hummingbird um, edge to edge design. I'm doing part A right now. And I'm not joining these, I'm just stitching them out. Actually, I've got one here and one here, so they're not actually joining. I just wanted to see how it stitches out. It's a, a 0 0.10 run stitch, run pitch, whatever, whatever the bubble is called. I just wanted to see how it was going to stitch out. So this is two designs put together. Two of what's stitching right now. We'll stitch it here, finish, and it'll come stitch it here, and it'll be joined. But part A and part B is not joined on this. I thought about hooking my 10 by 16 and putting it in there, so... You could see it, but I don't even know if that would all fit in there, having uh, those two designs. I have a feeling, I just got my machine back, and I have a feeling he slowed my speed down. gotten uh, some thread caught up between the thread and the spool cap and it messed up my threader and pulled something else out of whack. And I did that several weeks back before I got sick and I just, I really haven't done a whole lot of stitching. And when I did, I had to thread everything by hand, and oh my goodness, what a mess. Okay, I'm going to stop this and look at my, yeah, it's on 600, hmm. It says it takes... 11 minutes for this and the bottom, the, the part B to stitch out. And the part B, I'm going to be changing threads so you can see the difference. And I'll be right back. Alright, so it's starting on the second part of part A. And we're four minutes in. used the dime magnetic hoop and put some batting in and I have just literally I have pinned some fabric on top of it because I didn't have a piece big enough to get it hooped so so it's kind of like a quilt sandwich I just don't have fabric on the back Just resizing these because it can affect it. Um, I know I said it in the other video, but I just I wouldn't do it. I can resize in my software what I have created, but um, I just I wouldn't resize it. You can try it and see how it does. But because there's so many squares, you're bound to find a size in the squares that you want. And you can do a square and then re-hoop and do a square and re-hoop and do a square. 
because there's some pretty good size welds. Four by four, six by six, eight by eight, nine and a half by nine and a half, ten by ten, ten and five eighths by ten and five eighths. That's the sizes that are included in this file as far as squares. And then there's rectangles, everything from five by seven all the way up to uh, ten and five eighths by sixteen. All right, let me change the red. All right, so I'm going to pull my bobbin thread up just like you would if you were doing your quilting. And pull my bobbin thread up. Hello. There it is. All right, so I'm going to push this down through the foot so that I'm holding on to. Well, let's try that again. So I'm going to hold my bobbin thread while it gets started. Okay. And we're going. And I'm going to trim that bobbin thread up because it's done its thing to secure the stitch. So this is doing part B, which has the daisies on the outside and a, and a hummingbird on the inside. Oh no, I'm sorry, it has, uh, just one hummingbird on it. And mostly daisies. And I don't know why that's not in the center. Stuck in the center. I have to look at my files again. Alright, I'll be back when this is finished a little bit more. So I tried to get the hummingbirds as close to flowers as I could so it looks like they're you know, doing their thing with the flowers, getting the nectar. So this one has part A and part B, and this one has part B and part C, which it's getting ready to stitch now. And part C is just the daisies. So that you've got a lot of choices of how you can put these together. And each one of these is in every size in all the formats. daisies on it, and there's two different types of daisies. <clears throat> I just want you to be able to see this stitch out. And when you, when you use this in a project, would love it if you would uh, take a picture and post that picture on the group so we can see what you're doing with it. Maybe you can inspire somebody else with what it, what, what it is you used it on. So it's just about finished. It's got See, one, it's done one, two, three more daisies. This one is one, and then it's got two, two after that, two small ones, and then one of these larger daisies. Shape a little different.
just put them down. And it looks good. So, I don't know if I'll get it up in the files on uh, tonight, which is Wednesday. So it probably won't get posted until tomorrow, which is Thursday, the, uh, the 20th. Turn this around so you can see. I hope you can see that. I think so. I'll turn this camera just a little bit. Sorry if it's jiggling around. I gotta loosen it up. All right, so there you can see it. So this one has the two hummingbirds. This one has the hummingbird in the middle, and the daisies all around it, and then. This is the same as this. So this is block A, block B, block B, block C. Okay. So there it is. Hummingbird, uh, Daisy and Hummingbird, edge to edge. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.